The irony is, I don't think anybody from the 80s could have foreseen the internet or the staying power of any kind of media, whether it was recorded today or in the 80s or the 70s or the 60s or whatever. So here you have Henry Rollins at like probably the end of his end of the end of his rope talking to this kid after a show and just being absolutely like the worst version of himself. I've definitely seen interviews like since where Henry Rollins has expressed regret for that interview or feels really badly about that situation. I mean, we, there are moments where we are confronted with people when we are not ready to speak to anybody. And, uh, yeah, that's one of, that's one of Henry Rollins, uh, worst moments for sure. But it's also a symptom of this touring PSTD that we're talking about with, you know, just dealing with so many people, so many different types of people, uh, across the country and just becoming incredibly road weary. I would imagine I've never done any sort of heavy touring like that, let alone like what black flag did. Um, so, you know, I can't exactly speak to it, but you know, I do empathize on some level and, you know, Henry Rollins has demonstrated in many other, you know, avenues, how like, you know, how great of a guy he is or how great of a guy he can be. So, you know, sometimes you get the sun and sometimes you get the moon. <laughs> 